with Poe and Monroe. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I decide to start a new series about game called Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. This is interactive movie where you can choose and change the story and events. I will show you a few choices and their consequences in the game. I won't give you any comments on those videos except in the beginning and in the end, so it won't broke the atmosphere on the game. In this first video, I will start with the first episode called Frankie and will show you my choices that I did when I played the game for first time. Enjoy! You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe. And Monroe. Fun fact, helicopters can cause lightning strikes. Hmm. I suppose we should send ours back then. We have a helicopter? Yes, Munro, we have a helicopter. And on that note, what's next, Munro? It's on the schedule, silly. I know that. I'm just making it sound like you have a choice. Okay, then. What shall I choose? Let me see. I choose dreams and nightmares. Dreams and nightmares. With no, wait. And Monroe. I choose Poe's Curiosity Shop. Welcome to Poe's Curiosity No, I've changed my mind again. I choose dreams and nightmares. Dreams and nightmares. With Poe Excellent and Monroe. Excellent choice, Monroe. I didn't have one really, did I? You always have a choice, Monroe. But that doesn't mean you can change things. Maybe you should try interpreting the next call of the stream, Poe. I fear I would lack your warmth and insight. You have the ability to turn even the most ghoulish visions into something hopeful. Not always. Do you suffer from nightmares, Munro? Doesn't everyone? Tell me about yours. Well, there is this one I've been having lately. Go on. I can't see. I'm stumbling around trying to feel my way in the pitch black, but I keep bumping into people. It's like I'm trying to push through this crowd, but they don't know that I'm there. Perhaps you're feeling isolated. Hmm, maybe. But I'm not interested in them. They're just in my way. It's like I'm searching for something. The number nine. But what does nine represent, Poe? Well, according to Dante, there are nine levels of hell. Well, I feel so much better now. 
I did warn you. Perhaps you should help our next caller. They're already waiting. Frankie, you're live with Monroe. Hi, Frankie. What a beautiful voice you have. Well, thank you. I think all voices are beautiful. What do you think to Poe's voice? I hate it. Okay. So, what's your dream, listener? I'm in August, and wherever I go, all I can hear is the radio. It's everywhere. It's loud and relentless, but there's this bird. She cuts through the noise and guides me. I listen to the bird, and I fall blissfully asleep. That's very interesting. People dream about their surroundings a lot. And a dream within a dream? That's nothing to worry about either. What do you think, Poe? I think you have a hardcore fan, Monroe. What did the bird look like, Frankie? Beautiful. Angelic. But it's trapped in a cage. A prison. But there's only one warden. And the warden is weak. There's a warden? Another bird. With a rumbling voice that makes me angry. It plumes its feathers, but my bird? The one that calls me? She's not interested in him. And she's caged. Munro, this is obviously a prank. He's talking about us and trying to be funny. But it's a dream. I never said it was a dream. Well, I think um, we've had quite enough of this. Listen to the ward and jangling his keys. Don't you see he's imprisoned you, Ellis? Well, um, Frankie, we don't use our first names on air, so... I'm just going to stop you there. I've cut the call. Is that a good idea? Well, what was I supposed to do? Help him. He needed help. Don't encourage him, Alice. These kinds of things must be nipped in the bud. Are we still live? Sorry, listeners. <laughs> this was a very strange call. I hope you'll agree. Frankie, if you're still listening... I do apologize for Poe. He can get very protective. I kind of get your analogy now. Do I, Munro? Very well, then. Standing down. Oh, listeners, we've upset him now. Poe's gone all frowny face. <laughs>